Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first post baby clean with me. I hope you guys are excited to get some cleaning done today. We are focusing on catching up on laundry and also just doing a general tidy in the kitchen and a quick cleanup in the bathroom. So if you are excited about today's clean with me, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you're working on um, in the comments down below as we're hanging out today. And I am so glad that you are here. So the first thing we're working on today is going through the kids clothes and removing everything that is too small and moving in those next sizes and getting everything organized in the drawers. Um, I probably should have done this for the girls before I had the baby, but I just didn't get around to it. So I'm finally doing it a month post baby. And actually I had to go through and pull out all of the newborn clothes from his drawers because they did not fit anymore. <laughs> but um, as you guys can see, he is my little helper shadow Velcro baby following me around the house, doing all the things with me and keeping me company. You're also going to see Ella who is extremely jealous and very much wants mom for herself and wants to be everywhere I am and doing everything I'm doing so <laughs> we are adjusting but we are all doing well recovering well and finally feeling a little bit normal and getting back into the swing of things <laughs> you guys enjoyed all of the pre-filmed footage and videos that I had for you guys over the last few weeks. If you did and you enjoyed um, watching those, let me know what you enjoyed the most. Was it the, um, the marathon, the compilation, the zonal cleaning breakdown, any of those things that you enjoyed? I would absolutely love to hear from you guys as to what your favorites were. Um, here you can see my little helper. <laughs> She's following me around. Then she was really sad that I was working up here. Here, so I had to actually take her out to go hang out with daddy and the others. Um, but I am so curious what you guys thought about um, all of the content that I got, was able to get uh, pre-filmed and scheduled out for you guys so that we didn't miss a beat. Uh, moving on. And we did hit a major uh, milestone during the last month, which I am beyond shocked and grateful for. We hit 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. And welcome to everyone who is new that helped us reach that goal. You guys are amazing. And I am so glad that you are here hanging out with me and doing um, 
cleaning and motherhood and all the different life things that we are going through. So um, if you did join us in the last month or so, go ahead and let, introduce yourself down in the comments. We'd love to say hello to you and welcome you to um, to Meet the Robinsons. So most of you guys know by now that this is the, our last baby. We are done after this one. So going through these drawers and pulling out those last newborn outfits, I was uh, I was kind of like, okay, <laughs> we're finally going to be done. You may also notice that I'm either not wearing glasses in these clips or I'm wearing a different pair of glasses. That's because while I was recovering, Ella broke my glasses. <laughs> so I do have a new pair. I just have to go pick them up from the doctor. Um, from the eye doctor's office, but they're not my favorite. So I'm definitely going to be in the market for some eyeglasses. <laughs> but um, just thought I would mention that <laughs> so you guys would not be like, what is going on? But anyways, yeah, I was really sad pulling out all those newborn clothes and thinking that he's now too big to wear them. Um, he ended up being 6 pounds, 15 ounces when he was born, which was shocking. We all thought he was going to be really big, but he ended up being super small. Uh, but he is now over 8 pounds and he has moved definitely into the zero to three um, clothing and so he does not fit in the newborn anymore so we had to start pulling all of that out which I was like oh come on seriously <laughs> So this is how behind I was on laundry. After I went through and got everybody's clothes sorted, now I had to go through this clean pile that was on the floor and put everything away while also starting a new load from the giant pile that was on the floor previously. So uh, yeah, definitely have not been keeping up with the laundry. But it's also, I forgot how much laundry newborn babies make. Like he makes a like has a mess in his outfit all the time. Uh, has tons of burp cloths and I'm just like, oh my gosh, there's so much laundry. <laughs> so, um, definitely got behind on the laundry. <laughs> Need to come up with a different system. Uh, apparently the one that we have is not going to be conducive for a newborn. I got used to doing toddler laundry and that's a lot less laundry. Still some messes and some accidents, but not a lot, not nearly as many as we have now.
right. So moving into the kitchen, we're going to do um, a quick little tidy up and get everything kind of put away and just um, freshened up. You guys are going to notice, uh, especially in this video, normally I clean and film my cleaning and stuff like that while my kids are either napping or after they go to bed at night. But now with the newborn, he sleeps when he sleeps. So whenever he's napping and I have an extra 20 minutes, that's when I'm jumping up and doing something. And so that means I have lots of little shadows and helpers that are following me around. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, <laughs> I thought I would uh, throw that in there. I think it's funny when I like look back at the clips and I watch them. I'm like, oh my gosh, what in the world are you doing? She's just like walking around, spinning around, <laughs> uh, just being super cute. So, hopefully you guys think that they're being cute too. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started here in the kitchen and get everything all tidied up and go ahead and give the floor a sweep. I was going to mop. But he woke up before I was able to mop. So sweeping was all I was able to get done this day. So one thing that I've been managing to stay on top of is the dishes. I'm really actually kind of proud of myself and I feel like December, if you guys were here for Vlogmas, December was my training <laughs> for keeping up with the dishes now. Um, if you remember, I had challenged myself during Vlogmas to do my dishes every night and not leave my sink dirty. And I only uh, missed six days out of the whole 24 days. So I felt like I did really well. And I was like towards the end of my pregnancy. So I feel like I was in training for this uh, postpartum period. But so I've been doing pretty good keeping up with my dishes, not getting them done every day. But we are also also not cooking as much as we normally would be um, because I'm still kind of, you know, getting back into things. But um, definitely proud of myself for not having like this ridiculous backlog of horrible 
nasty gross sink. <laughs> so that's awesome. But anyways, so we're going to move on into the bathroom now. And I just did um, the toilet and gave the toilet a quick clean and then wiped down the counters because there was a literal mountain of laundry in my room that needed folded. So I wanted to make sure that I got that taken care of. And I actually didn't even get it finished before uh, Mr. Buddy was not happy with me. So uh, I ended up finishing it after my shower that evening and he was asleep. So that, that worked out for me, but definitely not, uh, able to do as much during the day as I used to. I have cleaned the kitchen and I have cleaned the bathroom and of course this means that I am now out of time <laughs> so he was awake so I brought him in and just put him in the in the bassinet so he could hang out while I started on the laundry I was able to get it all sorted into different piles and get it ready to be folded and do a little bit of folding before he was just absolutely not having it <laughs> and then I had to come back to it but, um, yes, so I had him uh, with me hanging out, and he was pretty content and happy for a little bit. And I had my other little shadow following me around as well, um, and she was uh, content to kind of hang out for a little bit. And then she ended up needing some redirection and something to do, so I gave her an activity. And then um, I ended up having to go ahead and take a break and then come back to it later. So, you know. But you can see my actual mountain of laundry. <music>
I don't know why folding kids' laundry is so much more fun and entertaining than doing folding my own laundry and doing my own laundry. <laughs> um, definitely less exciting and less cute things to look at while you're doing it. That's probably the main reason behind it. But anyways, if you guys have made it this far into the video, I wanted to go ahead and say thank you so much. Please remember that if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and um, subscribe and ring that bell so that you get notified every time we upload. We have regular cleaning videos every Tuesday. My plan is to get back into Messy to Minimal um, as we get into spring cleaning and as I start feeling better. So we will go back to having two videos a week. But for right now, we're going to stick to this Tuesday schedule. I hope that works for you guys. Um, uh, we are on our way, guys. We are on our way to 1K, and I'm super excited. And so if you guys are ready for this uh, crazy cleaning journey with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Remember to let me know what you're working on uh, today while we are hanging out down in the comments. And I am so glad that you were able to come and uh, spend some time with me today. And I am so excited for the cleaning that's going to be coming in the future. As I said, spring cleaning is just around the corner. And we will be starting here in the next month um, with all of our uh, deep cleaning and getting everything ready. And we have a lot of fun projects that we want to do this spring. So I'm super excited. Um, and I'm thinking about different content and different things that we can bring to the channel to diversify a little bit. We'll see. Anyways, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all very, very soon.